So I, I know this deck looks like a meme. It's actually like way more powerful than it looks. And like Tyvar is a card that really powers up the deck a lot. The deck is built around the two Overgrown Battlement effects. Overgrown Battlement, of course, and x Wing Guardian. These each give you mana for each defender you control. This one is an 04 that gives you only green. This is an 03 that gives you mana in any combination of any colors. And what's cool is that Tyvar gives them haste and Tyvar untaps them and Tyvar returns them to, returns at least Battlement to play. And so... You play the eight cantrip walls, and you play Wall of Roots also, which you know helps power up Court of Calling, although all the walls help power up Court of Calling. Um, and you are just flooding the board with walls. You have to play um, Ceruli Caretaker, which is kind of an underwhelming card, but you know it is a it's a defender mana dork, and it's a one drop that you know at least gives you good mana with these Wall of Omens, Wall of Blossoms. And then Walking Bulwark was a card that really impressed me. This is like a combination one mana defender counts, but also um, just like a win condition. Like, I know that this seems like a kind of a mana intensive card, right? Two mana, give a creature attack haste. Ha gi giving a creature haste with Bulwark is really nice if you don't have Tybar sometimes. But it's very mana intensive to give all your walls the ability to attack and damage equal to toughness. But because you, ha you just have so much mana with the Guardian Battlement. Um... You have one Arcades as a like value Court of Calling target, which is fine. But this is also a combo deck. This is also an infinite combo deck with Staff of Domination. I've seen we, we did this last time too, but we've seen some lists pop up where they're just main decking for Staff. I think it's way better to play Karn instead, where Karn is like a lot more versatile than Staff. Um, and when you have enough mana to Staff, you have enough mana to Karn. Where uh, the, I, I believe so, it's. Three mana to cast staff, and then it's one mana to untap the, the staff, and three mana to untap a creature. So you need a defender and five walls in play, uh, or an overgrown battlement or guardian, and five de total defenders in play to make infinite mana. And then with infinite mana and a staff of domination, you can draw infinite cards, which will give you uh, another Karn for Ballista, or you know, however however you want to do your, your infinite loop. Arcades played dead. We have one Arcades. Um, I in my in my playtesting last time. Uh, in my playtesting last time, the Arcades was like kind of high on the mana curve and like not your best plan. Okay, I have an Overgrown Battlement, so we have an easy keep. Do I want to play sets of all fetch and shock lands? Um, no, I don't. No, we have Mill Round one. We did add the. We did add the. Uh, could be Merfolk still, but we did add the Emrakul, thankfully. Um, not 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 a playset of all of them though. I have like. I have some number of all the fetch lands, and I have play sets of most of them. I'm, miss I'm missing a few numbers of some of them. I can't remember off the top of my head which ones, honestly. And there's a lot... I don't actually own play sets of most shock lands. I think I maybe have play sets of all the blue ones and stomping ground. But, like, I, I usually own, like, two, two of each other shock land because, like, you just don't need play sets that often anymore. Although, maybe that's not the case. Maybe that was the case for a while. Ooh, Rafine's Tower. Okay, very, also very clutch on the making sure I added the Emrakul chat. Good job. Okay, we're getting... I think God the Shrine. Dark Dwellers with Evolution, Target Rallier, and Two Tracks. It, it doesn't work because Evolution exiles itself. I would love... I, I wish with my all of my heart that it worked. Um, a mill player that draw step Surgical... Red alert, red alert. A mill player who's been to the mill academy and not a rogue scoundrel who just found the deck in an alley. Someone who actually can draw step surgical extraction. I haven't seen I haven't seen a draw step surgical in so long. <laughs> I, they, just, they just don't do it anymore. It's so weird. Ah! Targeting wall of roots? Okay, this is actually pretty fine though. <laughs> yeah, it is true we can hard cast Emrakul. Ember Cool could actually be like a cyber card against control. A graduate of the Mill Academy, huh? Oh, they did. They did leave it in the yard, didn't they? That's okay. Could definitely just win this game with like the walking bulwark beat down. Yeah, 
We're attacking for a lot. <laughs> a lot next turn if they can't kill this. We have to tap this for mana, so this is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we can give all of these haste can attack. We have two cards in our grave. Or we have enough for visions to draw three, though, which is a problem. Tashes me down to five cards in my library. Huh. I'm attacking for eight plus six. Fourteen. So they have to block with one of these. So I'm not... so. Oh, okay. And I also have drawn Karn. Which I think I... Wait, this is enough to infinite combo, right? But if I don't have another Karn in my library... Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's going to be so close. No, uh... <laughs> ever, uh elixir of Immortality. Okay, so... I have... Five, I have ten mana. Ten mana, which is actually like a little short of Karn for Staff untap. It's actually exactly one mana too short to infinite combo, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Karn, Staff is seven. Oh, Karn, Staff is seven. Hold on. Is it exactly enough? Five, five of man with battlement. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Karn four, seven. Then we go untap the battlement with staff for three, five mana. So we okay. So that's it. Yeah, yeah. I was I I I I was counting to besage you, but okay. But then I need to see is is a staff a, a staff? It should be. It's the line, at least. How many cards do I still have left? So I have zero cards in my graveyard. Let me double check. And in my exile, I have one card. So I actually still have two left of my five cards, which is wild. What a game! Either also F6. I love my opponent. It is going to be... Uh, dude, all my, all my decks are so click intensive. I'm just aspiring... Uh, aspiring clicker. Some, somebody needs to... <laughs> hashtag The Last of Us. Uh, I need an assistant to come here and click through my combos for me while I tweet in the background. Oh yeah, what's the, what's the auto tap hotkey? Actually, it doesn't really matter because you just tap this one. So it matters more for the Axe Bane Guardian. You can tap them and attack for lethal. Oh, that's true. That's probably a bit easier. And shows them less of the deck, too. So I can go... Oh, so click intensive. So if we go four mana to tap, I still have three mana to untap. So I'll, I'll kind of show them that this is the plan. Yeah, we, we have five cards left, but actually two of them are Karn, so we can make infinite mana Ballista, but this is way less clicks, because it's only it's only one extra mana each loop. The, the, the click, the combo is like, this is like less click intensive the more defenders you have. So like, sometimes you'll like, sometimes you'll, um, um, like draw a few cards, even if you're only making one mana, so you can put more defenders in play, so, the, so you can click less, but with only four cards in the library, we're kind of in a weird spot yeah yeah we have to yeah i have to untap these two of course okay so tap this shouldn't be too much too much more we also have to i guess we also have to let's have 10 mana to bulwark everything Just typing in the chat what the, what's going on, so maybe my opponent will graciously and kindly succeed, but they've already gifted us with tight play with their surgicals and being F6, so it's hard to ask for too much more. Yeah, you, even if they, we, we even went through Fatal Push, which is awesome. But surely they wouldn't be F6, right? Oh, they be they wouldn't be F six. Then don't call me Shirley. Okay, 
Yeah, this is actually horrible for the Dark Souls runs too. Think Arcadius could be effective in a collected company build? I, I typically am hesitant to include four mana value cards in my creatures in my collected company decks. You want your creatures to be three mana. Almost there. Almost there. Remember, chat, that conceding is like an action you can take, and you all and you just get to save everybody's time. It's awesome. I think Cord is just better than Coco this build. Uh, Cord is like just so Cord synergizes so well with the walls. They just you know you tap your you you just get to tap your walls for Cord. It's awesome. Okay, now now they can see. They see. Uh, it's like uh, Cord Collected Company is also it's a fine playable card. It's very much a bitter reunion. It's very much a Colagon's command. It's like. It's like Mana Dork, Spinner Reunion, Court of Colic. These are like what most modern players are like. I'm just, I just add those. Just play, play Collected Company. But it's like, and Collected Company wouldn't be bad, but I think Court is just, I think Court is better. Finds you your specific pieces. When you have Tyvar in play, Court of Carling is awesome to like find an x Bane Guardian or Battlement. It, it lets you play an Arcades, which you can't play. And so like it can be a value card also instead. It, there's a, there's a, I think there's a lot of cards that like modern players overrate and like Coco is definitely one of them. Uh, I might just be plus one Emrakul, no other changes. 61 cards, let's do it. I'm going to use the restroom too. What's, What's up? up? It's, it's me, your, your friend, friend Inspiring Spike. Spike. What's, What's up? up? It's, it's me, your, your friend, friend Inspiring Spike. Spike. What's, What's up? up? It's, it's me, your, your friend Inspiring Spike. Spike. What's, What's up? up? It's me, your, your friend, friend Aspiring Spike. Spike. What's, What's up? up? It's me, your, your friend, friend Aspiring Spike. Spike. What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. Alright, alright, we get it. It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. Keep. Think you get a faster escape vector ability this one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, just activate it the first time. <laughs> Esther closed the door. Okay, the archive trap to me, which is kind of nice for Tyvar with Immercold in the deck. We don't need to be too scared of the cards in the yard at the moment. What's my favorite Naruto theme song? Oh, that is a hard question to answer, my friend. That's a hard one. I don't know. They're all so good. They're all so good. Pretty cool. Yeah, Fighting Dreamer is like definitely the first one that just like came to my brain. But I don't know you can make a really good case for several of them. Oh, I guess I should have attacked. Oops. I do have an overgrown battlement. I'll probably go tie bar minus for that next turn. I don't have a third land. Ooh, okay, so. Assuming they don't do anything, we can go Tyvar minus, get back Battlement, cast Battlement, cast Axe Guardian, cast Karn. <laughs> this, this deck is pretty sick. I, I, I really like this deck. Wow, no Surgical is awesome. Okay, Battlement, Battlement, Guardian. <laughs> now if we draw him cool, we could just hard cast it. This is turn three.
They have something here. If they had, if it was the draw three, they should have already used it. This would be a big mistake. There's the Emrakul trigger. A white mana. They have path? I was just conceding. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I, I know this deck looks like such a meme, but it's really not. It's really not. And like, I put it down because it was like really weak against Titan. And when I was playing the deck the first time, there was so much Titan. There hasn't been a lot of Titan the last couple days. Which is why I'm feeling brave enough to dust this off today. Very few white cards that explore cutting white. Um, your mana is like in general really good. The white splash doesn't cost you very much. Wall of Omens is also a really important card because... This may, this may shock you. The average card quality of walls is pretty low. <laughs> and like the, I think that the cantripping two mana walls, are, omens and blossoms are both really important to play. Um, like, like to be honest, like the, the deck functions, but we like, we kind of, we like barely have a deck here. Like a lot of times in modern, um, there you are like, there's like several cards you could play that would be fine, but are suboptimal. But th this deck is one of those uh <laughs> where we're like we barely we barely have a deck here you know what i mean i think we'll go wall of blossoms here if they remove this i'd rather like get back the, this one with the tie bar get another cantrip nice ragavan yeah terminate the blossoms Oh, Caretaker, we're dead. They can cast the Caretaker so their Ragavan does something. Hmm. Yeah, Snap takes the Tyvar, huh? I think we get another Force because of Blood Moon here. We do have uh, one blue card in the deck, but I think I'll just do this. And then we'll go Wall of Roots into Battlement. Dude, if Wall of Shards had one more toughness so it could block Murktide, it would be like a card I'd really consider. So we have three, seven mana. Tyvar, we have six mana if we Tyvar untap battle, man. I think I'll Tyvar minus here. I spent 27 months, thank you. I think I like getting the second Battleman play. Just grab a Ballista. I like using it like a lot of resources here because I'm you know worried about them having a lot of discard effects. They can block season of Pyramids or Ping Ragavans. And obviously they can have some interaction here, but they only have two cards and I still have like card cord for bulwark or Arcades. My scam deck, nerd. <laughs> ah, I love this deck. It's awesome. Doesn't doesn't also sideboard very often. This could be a matchup to bring these bridges in, which I'm kind of inclined to do since like scams. Artifact Hate is mostly, like, Explosives, Hidden Sugu. Sometimes in Explosives, will they even, like, or, or Kolgon's Command. Uh, sorry, I always Explosives. But, like, they can't Explosives on three very easily. Um, yeah, Bridge is probably going to be really good against them, post board. Uh, Bulwark's kind of nice with the draw because of Ragavan. Definitely don't mind trimming a cord. You can trim a Bulwark. Then maybe a uh, woman's. Maybe maybe we want to show wall roots over a woman's. I think I think on, on the play we can also cut a caretaker, but I think just having like at least six one mana blockers for Ragavan on the draw is kind of good. Do you have a special bridges for the one leader of the board? Not intentionally, but uh, I could I so if I build this deck for the Hunter Burton, this would be a really, really fun Hunter Burton deck. Um I might, I might buy, I, I, this is the bridge art I have in paper, so I might buy, like, like, three of these bridges for that reason, I don't know. <laughs> Probably just have the match, I don't know. It'll depend. Like, I really want to play the Sacrifice deck, though, like, the Scam Sack deck at Hunter Burden. I've, like, I've, like, I've, I've been wanting to play that deck in a paper tournament for a long time, 
I feel like it's like the perfect tournament to play it at. Why not Spellskite? Spellskite doesn't have Defender. If Spellskite had Defender, I would be really into it. Um, but it doesn't. <laughs> That's a good joke, Steve. <laughs> Second Voidwalker. Definitely a good card. Um, I want to try to cord for Arcades if possible. Let me just get another Forest here. So I can go Wall of Omens first, see what we draw. Then Bulwark, then four mana. Yeah, but then we can court for Arcades. And then still have a, a Defender in our hand for next turn. Could do it at instant speed. We can even, like, mate, tap and attack them for, like, a million. <laughs> or not a million. But a lot, because we could also give uh, other Defenders haste with Bulwark's ability. Yeah, we're, we're, there's a good chance we're attacking for lethal. Would it be worth the drive from Houston to Hunter Burn? Uh, so, worth it is always, like, you know, an interesting conversation. You have to determine... For yourself, if it's worth it. If I lived in Houston, I, the Hunter Burton is the only tournament I would consider driving Houston to Dallas. I hate driving Dallas to Houston, Houston to Dallas. It is like one of the worst drives I've ever done. It's just so. It's, it's like it's not. It's not super long, but it, I I don't like the the uh, <laughs> the drive. Um, but I I do love the Hunter Burton, and Hunter Burton's a tournament that I've you know attended for the last. I've, I've attended, all, I think, all but the very first one. So I, I would really want to attend. Okay, so we are attacking right now for how much? 8, 14. This, this is only 3 damage. I always forget 17. We can go kind of crazy too. Hold on. Wow. Plus now, so we don't get bolted. Wall combo, baby. Nice scam deck. Spike, I think that Modern Horizons 2 has really killed creature decks in Modern. Well, Chatter, have you considered... Just playing walls instead. Oh, I forgot to give this one haste. Uh-oh. Did I miss lethal? I think it's... I think not. They conceded. I think that's 20. Let's not count. Oh, I forgot to... <laughs> oh, this, I we played against this player yesterday on Banner Row, please. Forgot to... Hit click send on my GG. Oh no! Wall of Blossoms is a Modern Horizons card! No! The deck is not pure. Let's mulligan this. Yeah, is it MH1 or MH2? Because we can forgive MH1 even though that was the more poorly designed set. No, fetch lines don't count. People always say that though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm cool just for mill. Although you can actually hard cast it, so you could board it in some other spots. Played against mill in round one. Mill is like pretty popular in Magic Online. May not be nearly as popular in paper. This helps record, so I think it's a bit better to play first. Since the MH1 was all reprints, right, right, right. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, the creativity, I guess? Well, I think I need to play the Axbane Guardian. Hopefully they don't have another bolts. They have a Flame Slash. Flame Slash and Creativity is interesting. Kind of unfortunate for me. Um, let's get the Karn down. Uh, only one blue card. We could get the Breeding Pool. I think I'm not gonna. Ugh. 
just always get spell pierced. I just do y'all get spare? Do you, do, does anybody get spell pierced as often as I do, chat? Do y'all do y'all also just get spell pierced every game of every league you ever play? You didn't even play around it. I know I didn't play around it. I think I st I took the best. I think I still took the best line. You can't always play around it. Not that I, I I know I didn't make like any effort to try to there, but I don't think it was correct to play around it. But it is true. I guess if I'm getting spell pierced every game of every league, maybe I should start playing around it. But they already had two one mana interactive spells. You just got to jam, I think. Yeah, so if they creativity here, I can um, cord for a defender mana tapper two drop and then maybe draw Karn for bridge or something. Earlier today I said no spell pierce, no spirit pierce. Was that today? Yeah, that's true. They don't always have it though. Oh yeah, it was against the Merc Tide opponent, wasn't it? Um, I mean... I think I'm going to try to be able to court for Arcades here, so let's just go ahead and draw. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, right, the Wall of Roots bug. Do this now so I can kill the Ren, or maybe attacking them is better. Yeah, I'll just ignore the Ren, hit them for eight. Yeah, every deck is worse, inferior to uh, wall combo. Dude, I can't believe the only Modern Horizons card is wall of blossoms. It is, it is just MH1 though. <laughs> I, I can't run around, I know, I know that everybody's... <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of the same questions over and over again. I'm not. I will be. I will be talking more detail, but I'm not. I'm not allowed to talk about any details on any cards until the set, until they get spoiled. Take tech for friend. Just look and check and take a look. Pretty dead, especially with that top deck, huh? Cool list. I will say, I, I've played a lot of Sahili combo and, like, basically always had my heart broken and just been like, why? Why am I playing this? <laughs> um... I do think playing Mimic, Alter the Brood, Guardian is cool. Gives me flashbacks to that just guy. Yeah, I guess no, we had that one. We had that one. Um, did, were we even playing Sahili in that deck? We did pretty well, like a couple tournaments with. I felt a Guardian deck at one point. Can't really remember all the details. Okay, so this can kill opposing creatures in combat. I think that's better than attacking here. I'll say, as a first draft, this deck looks pretty sick. I'd probably play the fourth Wall of Women's over the fourth Teferi. Or, or like, over the over the research desk, maybe. I think I'd be really likely to... I don't know, the, the broadbacks are interesting. I think that I might... The, the broadbacks are interesting. I don't know the right if you're playing the right number. But I think I would be pretty interested in playing, like, one blue-white filter land... I'm not sure over what. It probably would be up to be up a land, maybe. Oh, gross. I think it would haste and we're dead. Okay, game two. I think the last time I played this matchup, I boarded in some bridges. I think I'll board in, like, exactly one bridge. I don't really want to draw two copies. Oh, I didn't realize Bulk was only sorcery speed. It makes sure we're not attacking there. 
Maybe the blue white filter line isn't necessary, but your mana is like really tough because you have like Saga and the mimic as the blue source in the deck with like brought back. You have the Springleaf drum, so Saga can help with your mana cost, I guess. I would actually maybe even sideboard the Lantern and like keep the desk over Lantern. I, I don't think you need to have the main deck graveyard hate. Just an option though. Uh, I really don't like playing Temporary Lockdown in your Saga deck. Probably wouldn't play that. Probably play like the fourth wear tear, third sanctifier instead. But, but like oh, overall, like really cool first draft. Very cool first draft. Okay, one land, no land. Um, very cool first draft, and I think you are nearing, if not already, into the play testing phase. And I wish you luck. So go. Breeding pool, goblet shrine. Not a bad mold to five. If you're playing Saga, shouldn't you run Luxier for the other Sahili combo? Um, maybe. I like what I like about this list is you're like not that in on Sahili herself because Sahili like is the worst card in your deck, and I don't know. I just I like I like I even like feel like the mimic alter of the brood. Um, Guardian combo is like it's like so much better than it's so much ugh, dude freaking flame slash running into flame slash with this deck is so unlucky <laughs> um, like that combo is even like in, in, a, in a lot of ways better than your um, your other combo right because you're able to just like it's like a, it's like it's three cards but one of your cards is a land and or two of your cards are land so it's just four mana for infinite mill um, and can really catch people as surprised instead of like revolt when your combo has the three mana planeswalker it's just so intensive interesting guess we can't court for any amount after playing arcades we can kill uh, Rin probably hit them for three they have binding Okay, good beats. We lose. We lose. We lose. We lose. We lose. It's okay. We can lose. We lose with grace and dignity. <laughs> Creativity's busted. <laughs> What's the black for? Tyvar. Tyvar is insane in the stack. We do have, like, an ensnaring bridge, I guess, so plan for some reason yeah it grows yeah everything could go wrong went wrong mold of five freaking flame slash it is what it is let mulligan this hand i think the curve is too high here this hand looks better put back the forest do you have a blue white list i like um does any blue white player like their list? You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I don't think I do. Honestly, I I have like the list I played in Vegas, which was you know at this point a long time ago, uh, somewhere deep in the stream decker, and I don't know. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't really played blue white in a long time. At some point in the stream, I would like you know periodically be like, okay, we're playing blue white today. We're playing John with some tweaks. I, but now we're just we're we're in really deep now. I've really evolved. Uh, so we might put will play Ragavan. All right. Well, we've been getting spell pierced a lot. Can we avoid a spell snare? <laughs> why me why me <laughs> damn it could have baited it with wall of omens i guess because the, <laughs> the the blossom is better <laughs> why me You're not the worst draw <laughs> I 
I guess I did kind of will it into existence, huh? I can't be blamed for that, though. I definitely teleported to the timeline where they had the spell snare after saying that. Certainly interested in trying to resolve Tybar this turn. Surely my opponent wouldn't have the audacity to spell snare and spell pierce me. Okay, if it gets burned, you'll get two for one here. If we're really lucky, we mill over the uh, Overgrown Battlement, and we are, in fact, really freaking lucky. <laughs> we are, in fact, really stinking lucky. It's like, surely my opponent will be done soon. <laughs> oh, I'll be done soon. Don't call me Shirley. Imagine getting spell pierced here. Also kind of weak to unholy heat on Arcades, to be honest. Could have been better actually to try to like court on one for bulwark and then like activate it a bunch next turn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I I I know I I'm I'm a broken red. This is a good deck. This is a good deck. I know it looks like a meme, but it is a good deck. They did Tybar, million mana, lots of good outs here, including another Tybar, huh? So if we can mill over a Bulwark, we win. Otherwise, we have the Wall of Blossoms to cycle. Uh, so yeah, Bulwark dies to heat, but what's the upside is it does—it doesn't matter if it dies because you get to activate its ability, uh, anyways. So like here, I'm able to go. Even if they kill... Oh, it's, it's only as a sorcery. I keep forgetting this is only as a sorcery. Damn it. I was thinking I could, like, respond a bunch. Dude, why is this only as... Okay, give, give me... Give me... What color is this? Our walls? Our walls? Really so broken that this had to be <laughs> only as a sorcery. The answer is kind of yes. <laughs> Or is only as a sorcery, so on Arena, when you click it to block and not activating the ability? Yeah, for sure. It's so you can't block? Oh, can't block with it and deal damage? Okay, yeah, that actually makes more sense. Okay, they're Merc Tide to me here. We might lose anyways, huh? Got a turn to draw, Court of Calling, Card of the Great Creator, Cantripping Walls. They're also at 8. Bulwark. Although they probably they killed the Bulwark, right? They also kind of need to kill my Tyvar. They advise me a turn. That being said, if they, um, if they just kill Tyvar, hold up counter spell, we probably can't win. a good sign. Layer of the Hydra. Maybe. It's kind of hard to like play the, that card with like all the your splash stuff, but I kind of don't hate it. They're Merktiding again. And they're attacking the Tyvar, so... Theoretically, have two two turns. They very likely have a counter spell because they have like five cards in hand to start their turn. Well, if they had a counter spell, they're like less likely to sack the islet. Maybe. Either way, we're just gonna draw a card, cast our card, right? All right, all right. So we're dead to a bolt. We're dead to a murktide. Wait, why didn't they exile this heat? I was just, I mean, they must have, like, a bolt or something. 
Nico is playing Wall of Mulch. Uh, I I remember when I was first working on the deck, I read every single Modern Defender. I don't remember. Um, do not remember what Wall of Mulch does. Sacrifice a wall, draw a card. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Probably not. Because okay, you kind of want your walls to be in play to make mana. Eyeball 20 months, thank you. Yeah, playing a, rap, a heap for Arcadius too. That would make sense. So we're gonna bring in our bridges. We're gonna cut a cord. We're gonna cut a. Trim one of each of the one drops, I think. That seems fine. Bomber. I feel like. I feel like maybe I messed up on my Court of Calling. It seemed okay. Just getting to resolve it. It was pretty bad into heat, though. Is Blue a good deck to play in modern? It's fine. Um, or an experienced player almost always come to time. I don't know. It's uh, maybe. I'll say this: that like if you're an inexperienced player, no matter what deck you're playing, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to play slow. So if you're if you're a slow player. You can take some actions to play quicker and like try thinking about playing quickly if you're worried about it is something you can just do. Um, but, it, it, you know, life is too short to be like, oh, no, I'm worried about... I'm a new player. I'm worried about playing poorly. You're going to play poorly no matter what. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you're going to make mistakes no matter what. Don't worry about it. Maybe we want Regal Force. I don't. I don't, I don't think we want Regal Force. I know it would have been like kind of good in exactly that situation. I could be wrong. Regal is Regal Force. It's only green creatures, right? We don't. Not even all of our creatures are green. Like Arcades is a card advantage spell that you're courting for too. I think about Regal Force something similar. But yeah, sure. I, I'd, I'd be willing to hear if there is something similar. I don't really think there is, though. Yeah, but sure. It should have attacked first. So there's like a good chance I respect the block. So we go Wall of Roots. Tyvar Minus? I could Tyvar plus and play Karn. It's pretty weak to like them getting Delirium plus Bolting. I think I'm just gonna minus. I know I know I don't have anything in the yard at the moment, but I'm pretty likely to hit. Cool. Second Overgrown Battlement, and then now I, I could I could now cast Karn. So I think let's just go ahead and do that. Do I have any Cityscape Leveler? No, I would love a Leveler here. I guess we just get Staff because we have two Battlements, right? Chalice and One, we can't cast the Chalice right now. Chalice and One is also like... Like, we don't care too much about their one mana spells at the moment. Their Ragavans, their Lightning Bolts. We care about their, like, two, three mana counter spells. Yeah, definitely a lot of Merc died today. Do you make really. Wait, wait, hold on. Is the Mer is it Merc Tide and. Is Merc Tide DRC? Is it all the same command? <laughs> is it all the same command, Doom, or is it just one? I can't keep track. Is there a recent trust for Trizzles that fell close? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, I didn't hate the trust for Trizzles list we had. Like, the green-red ones with Steel Seeker, I thought were pretty good. Um, and then the Juggernaut tech that, like, did well... That won a challenge or did well in a challenge recently. Um, like, I liked that. I liked that deck. Like, Juggernaut was really interesting. And, like, I think I watched Doomwake play it. I'm like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Okay, so if we draw, we need to draw another defender off of this to go infinite. <laughs> Subtlety, pitch, Merktide Regent. Alright. Yeah, our current deck is pretty bad against Juggernaut, huh? So 
So we're just gonna five mana draw a card. They've got no cards in their hand. We're like really ahead here, right? Even if they draw counters, like they have to draw like he. I don't know. I guess if they counter my wall of blossoms, things could get kind of dicey. Yeah, they just drew land, so we need to draw another defender. Another defender in like the top two is easy mode here, and that that is another defender. All right, so we shoot, so we win. Oh my gosh, I tapped my fucking overgrown tomb. No, never easy mode. Fuck. Sorry, chat. Okay, but I can now draw like fetch land or just another defender. Okay, we win anyways, but. That was a way to lose, huh? That was a way to lose. But we win, we win. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna be drawing cards here to like find other defenders to um, make this loop generate more mana. Yeah, I can win the hardest of games and lose the simplest of games. Thus is my curse as a streamer. Okay, now this can let me Tyvar. So I do have another black source to get. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have my. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Just trying to get more. Again, more defenders in play makes this go faster. I always love doing these loops and being like five minutes ahead on clock. They're just dead to combat. Um, maybe they're dead. They're dead. We could chill. We still need to make a lot of mana no matter what. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll just combat them here. Huh? All right, that's what they can see too. Bulwark is really really good. You can play four, honestly. I have one. I have one as a corn target though. But maybe you don't want the one as a corn target. It's so tough. Yeah, I, I love this deck. I, I was just mostly waiting for uh, Titan to cool down a little bit to to play it. Although we did play, there was like one day of Titan was everywhere this week. I don't know if you and if you win the die roll, you can race them if you're lucky, but it's just a pretty very bad matchup. And they bowled the six, and no Ragavan. They're, if they're holding up mana here, I'm probably playing Wall of Blossoms. And if they tap out, I'll play Overgrown Battlement. <coughs> it's really nice that you're like a devoted druid or whatever. Doesn't get uh, bolted. Okay, does does get heated. Kind of tough. I think I'm still supposed to play the Battlement here. And then next turn I can go Wall of Roots Blossoms. Also get Spell Snared. It, it, it stinks like when you play a deck that's like, you know, a bit better against like a more stock list, but you're running into the Spell Snares, which aren't super stock. And then against Creativity, 
we're like more resilient to their lightning bolts, but you know they we're, we just play against the creativity player who's playing spell snare. That always kind of stinks. Or sorry, uh, flame slash. That's okay though. Especially because we can get an overgrown battlement back into play here and soak up, I guess, just one point of damage. But yeah, just put a, put a battlement into play. Hopefully they don't have a heat, but have a good turn next turn. Two cards in my opponent's hand. They could have hardcast subtlety here, maybe. Uh, the elves, the trophy with elves was on stream. It was Monday. My general thoughts are that elves is a powerful deck, but a high variance one with like uh, a lot of bad matchups. And uh, I guess that's it. Pretty scared of just dying next turn. I don't think there's almost anything I can do about it. I feel like if they had subtlety, they would have subtlety that though. Does Cord do anything to stabilize? Not really. Oh wait, can I Cord for Arcades? No, I'm one short of Cording for Arcades, I think. Although now I can, right? Now I can, now I can. Because I can use the walls for two next turn. That's actually kind of wild. Where are they subtleting this? That's so frustrating if that's the case. <laughs> oh, Arcadius is in the yard anyways. Okay, well. That's fine. They only have one card, but they have the eyelet. We're dead to a bolt, so we're dead to connive a spell away. They're Merc Tiding. Maybe their hand is like Merc Tide Counterspell. No. No. Suck the eyelet. I feel like they definitely have a Merc Tide with them tapping two blue there. About one Grist, a court is a kill spell. Um, people just love adding like like super situational cards. We just can't play that many. We already have several, and you mostly just you know you are there, you mostly get Bulwark or Arcades or like a Battlement. So Lucy and Athena are ready to be picked up. Okay. Um, I have a meeting at two, starting at two. So uh, do you think you can get them by yourself? I think you can. I think so. I think it should be fine. They're good. What dogs. time? I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna play another, like another league after this. Okay. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like right by a stopping point. All right. If we die, it's your fault. Don't say that. Or you, <laughs> yeah, he's mine. <laughs> I think we're gonna win. Think, 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 bolt. Okay, we win. Awesome. Love to win. We could have beaten Counterspell too because we could get Bulwark with this and present lethal. But now we just get uh, Battlebend and Combo Kill. They punted. Um, no, the problem was um, one, they don't guarantee a spell off, off Channeler off, off, off for their connive and... Um, they lose Delirium if they Merc Tide, right? So they can't go. They can't just go Merc Tide Channeler because they lose Delirium. And they can't attack. Start off my wall league against Jessica Prowess. They had three path decks I was game one. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with Jessica Prowess with Prowess decks is that the deck is like really good and people just keep like main decking pending and path exile. <laughs> but like, you just like should be sideboarding anything like that and probably not. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. They just like lo <laughs> love to main deck the sideboard cards right now. It's so weird. Obviously not that big a deal. We I don't know why my opponent's not conceding. Like <laughs> we've already done we've already gone through the loop once here. 
Maybe yeah, they're typing a nice uh, message in the chat. Just trying to soak it all in. Look at the graveyard. What went wrong? I even spell snared Spike. They probably want to see one card. They've seen the thing is they've they see they've seen the card and like. They've seen they've they've seen the win cons in the deck. I don't know. It's okay. They don't have to concede. Okay. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'll be there soon. Um. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Do I use the PayPal one? Yeah. They, yeah. You use that one, but yeah, they should have it on file too. Um. You just take it. Take my wallet. Take whatever yeah. you want. Take your wallet. Take your keys. Take your heart, take your social. My take, social? Take your house, take your identity. Do you want to click through this combo for me no. before you go? This is, shit is taking so long. Dude, I'm not going to click as fast as you, though. Yeah, but my finger's falling off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, there's a win con. It is it is nice that the the more you go through your deck, the uh, less <laughs> click intensive the combo is. And in paper you just get to like, you know, declare, draw your deck. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to do the Rectus Charm dance, huh? Alright, so just bulk them. Um, this is easy enough. This is super lethal. Yes, it's super lethal. Yeah, still have five minutes on clock despite clicking through two combos. I love how they're conceding <laughs> before I attack too. <laughs> All right, let's get a four-one prediction. Let's mulligan this, I think. Close hand, maybe, maybe not that close. Okay, tie bars with the keep. How far we go on Tuesday? So we got two Ornstein and Smo, and then um, we were we were resetting on them, trying to like you know get the get the right opening. Uh, we reset like four times, and then I got hit on the Sentinel in front of it, and I didn't realize that there was like um, not exactly bad RNG. I mean, it, it, it's it's a, it's a rare attack that I've only ever seen once or twice, and it doesn't hit you with this attack very often. Um, or this 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 attack is really rare, right? And so. It's hard to it's hard it's hard to dodge. I wasn't ready for it. It's like you know like like less than five percent that it happens maybe, and so we can we're gonna be able to adjust to where that it's not gonna be a risk anymore. Thankfully, but we we just have to adjust a little bit on that part. Okay, I think we go. I think I definitely want to tie bar before I play my Axe Bane Guardian. It's an interesting draw. I think I just go Tyvar minus here. Okay, hit a wall. So next turn we can go Caretaker, tap, Guardian, untap, x Guardian. It's at least eight mana. Could also be dead if they have three one mana burn spells, which is kind of hard for them to have, right? They have an Eidolon. It's gonna be close. So I could def I could definitely win if my opponent didn't have Eidolon. They have Eidolon. Um, I can still cast two spells, though. I can go Caretaker, Guardian, go to two. Caretaker, Guardian, go to two. Then I have eight mana after that. I can't Might for life. I die when I cast the Might, and I can't target the Eidolon. It's a creature. 
I can walking ballista on two. That puts me dead to any burn spell. What happens if I just cast Axe Bane Guardian? Cast Axe Bane Guardian makes six mana. Um, cast Karn. Yeah, I think I think we just cast Axe Bane and then just cast Karn and then reassess for next turn. And we can survive a burn spell. It's just like I think I think the plan of surviving two burn spells is possible. Hoping that in their three cards they have no burn spell is just like not gonna do it for me. And I think I grab Ballista here. It like has to be Ballista, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know I know you keep suggesting Haywire. Haywire might does not kill Idolon chat. It does it does not, it just doesn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got me. Got the Arcadius for the Bulwark, I think. Just extra one drop. Chalice one. Um. Yeah, I guess I guess we could have gone Chalice one there. It was like really good against their hand being two lightning bolts, but I, but like there's it's also puts us dead to any like Boris Charm Helix. Uh, uh, <laughs> a Rift Bolt, Skewer the Critics, um, any single copy. So I, I, I don't know. I feel like our line was fine. There's less Boral Charm Helixes than one man things that killed there. No, no, because we can tank one one mana spell, but we but if we cast the Chalice, we die to one burn spell. Because like because they have to have two, they have to have. Two lava spikes, or like two a combination of two lava spike plus bolt. They already used one bolt, also. It's a big, it's a big difference to like have to have to tank one hit instead of instead of two. Okay, we'll keep this on six. Put back the breeding pool. Good chalice on two. I I did not have the ability to chalice on two that turn, did I? Oh, I did. I did have the ability to. I did have the ability to. Yeah. So that that could have been the line. Does Chalice on one counter skewer? It does not, no. Well, I'm not gonna not block. I'm kinda, it's kinda bad against Searing Blaze, but my hand is pretty bad against Searing Blaze anyways. I play the EH sometimes, yeah. I have um, I have a Magda deck that's like kind of like, you know, it's serious, I guess. C E D H. I don't know. Not, not C E D H. I don't have the, like the Clock of Omens combo. I just want to put dragons into play, but I want to do so as efficiently as possible. And then I've got kind of like a goofy Slin Vada Sea Monster Tribal E D H deck that is missing some cards now on accident. So someone, um, I can't, someone on Twitter, some EDH person on Twitter, it was probably maybe like Golgari guy or something, but they were like, uh, you know, if you're playing, if you're playing a monocolored deck, <laughs> if you're playing a monocolored deck, you kind of need the fast mana to like keep up and compete, which is, which I think is true. Like I don't, I don't mind that I have like all the fast mana in the Magda deck since I really feel like I need it to like keep up with the more competitive, higher higher uh, color count decks. Okay, let's do one more with walls. Burn, burn, burn. Don't know if that matchup is always so bad or if their, their draws lined up really well against